interesting thing with these here uh, breadfin shads uh, is traditionally a lot of uh, in this area people will uh, load them basically they just you drill a hole and you put a BB shot or a split shot or some kind of liquid and uh, heat and seal the hole or epoxy and seal the hole a lot of people do fish most people fish with them like that um, I like to keep them as they are um, there's other things I can throw that if I wanted it to sink um, so kind of like a wide broad um, big water pushing profile top water it's not really a top water but it, it is a top water paint and I like to keep it as such so it's an interesting thing to do but the guys that do load them there uh, some days they just do fantastic with them they have a, an amazing underwater sinking action too so it's pretty neat to know so uh, thought it was interesting Hi everybody, Jerry here. Um, the clip you just saw was from last night. Um, I was out and just poking around. I didn't bring much, but I was throwing a, a floating uh, day minnow in my teaser and I had some action. Um, I landed that one. I saw a drop, well, a couple nice trikes I had of some bigger fish. Um, so today I decided to fish some weight baits. Um, so I'm gonna be throwing this here today, and it looks like a minnow because it pretty much is a minnow. But what makes this a weight bait is when it's in the water, it creates a wake actually. Um, so it's a little different action than your standard minnows. I thought it would be perfect in this situation. Somewhat shallow water, calm, uh, perfect to throw. I'm going to be using a spinning rod today. Um, this is pretty light, so I want to, you know, I thought it would match well with this. I also have on my black teaser, I'll show you that later on. I might pick a few fish on that. Sometimes these work better without the teaser, sometimes with. Um, it's give and take, that's what fishing is all about. So let's get a few casts in, let's get started and uh, let's see what happens. Now these, um, I've used them in the past uh, traditionally as a uh, big, uh, big bass, big largemouth bass lure. Um, this is rather old. I haven't used this in years, so I got it all worked out. Um, one thing to note, I use a little bit lighter hooks on it. Um, in that case, with the drag, I set the drag fairly light. Light hooks, light drag. Um, you let them take that drag. 
uh, that those hooks are going to bend on a bigger fish, even smaller ones sometimes when they turn. So make sure if you're using lighter hooks, you're going to get more hook hookups. But uh, you're going to keep in mind, use a light drag. So something to keep in mind. Um, I like those light hooks because it really makes it ride well on top. I don't know if you guys can see, but it creates a wake. Really nice action. And they do, they do die, but the, a little bit. The whole idea is to, what they say they are, is weight baits. So that's the whole idea. And it's fairly skinny water, so a fish somewhere out will see that. And you know, there's no need to that. There's no need to, you know, the column is narrow to work. So you can work bottom, high, top, and that disturbance creates a nice vibration too. But that's the whole concept of the weight bait. Real quick, when casting these things, um, the current's going this way tonight. Right now, I like to cast slightly up current and work them against the current. Uh, it's just going to have a better action. Folks are somewhat pestery tonight. But uh, I'll ca cast the uh, current's going this way. I'll cast slightly up current. No, working in or an angle. Almost almost like if I was working with fly. Now you can cast uh, down current. You can cast up current too. Keep in mind you might have to work it a little quicker to get the action you want. So I'm gonna get fishing, I'm gonna turn up the lens, the bugs are finding me, as you can see. And uh, alright, let's see if we get another one. Uh, behind it. And that's why they call it a weight bait. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like spin. Neat thing to note, um, as far as the teaser, what I did today was I made it a little longer dropper on the end. So I have my bait's going to be riding on top. So I'm planning on that teaser, give it a little more slack down under. So I noticed I got a few short strikes the other night, so I'm correcting for such. And uh, also, I thought I would do better with a lighter, uh, more of a water pushing, top water, um, like a wake it, I could swim it, uh, bait. I thought this would just be more effective tonight. And it was.
all right everybody um i'm gonna get going but it was a pretty good outing um like i said the way i approached it i came out the night before i found fish uh did okay i actually i landed one actually missed a few others and uh there was a nice fish last night that uh, uh definitely got off but came back out here um with the red fin and uh skinny water i think it's a great skinny water wake bait and that's what i wanted to do and uh, it produced um uh people use these in these parts in different ways um, i use them in the traditional way um, i used to use them a lot for big mouth bass fishing that's a nice big mouth bass with these um in addition you know most of the times I don't leave home without a teaser this time of year. If there's going to be, say, big, big fish, um, and I know they're there, uh, a lot of times I will take it off. I may take it off. But anyway, I am going to be getting out of here. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, uh, dislike, comment, whatever you have to say. Uh, good, bad, anything and uh subscribe to the channel or not i really don't care and uh of course remember always uh fish your way and thanks again for watching have a good night uh afternoon uh evening morning wherever you are i'm gonna probably take a few more guess. but the water is you know not too too deep um skinny water and uh any water fish. Anyway, I'll be back. <coughs>